properties and long range transportation of aerosols over Nepal. Basically, um, uh, in these presentations, I'm not going to uh, talk and present mainly how mathematically we calculate long range transportation or how we going to calculate or how the mathematical formula we're going to apply to calculate. Uh, rather than I'm presenting uh, the NOAA, um, uh, which, which has done um, automatically from their website and uh, I have been connected with them and we worked to get the trajectory analysis also. Um, I have used that one to show some pictures. And also the aerosol optical properties, which is a very usual term in when I come to Nepal, I usually present these topics as well, uh, which represents uh, very small, tiny, tiny particles in the atmosphere, how that interact, how that affect, how that connect with the uh, solar radiation. Um, that represents the aerosol optical properties. And since the aerosols these days, it is a very important topic based on uh, climate science and also in the sense of health, but we are not uh, dealing with mainly what the health impact with the uh, air pollution is, but mainly we are dealing with aerosol optical properties, what the absorption and the scattering uh, is related with those small particles. Um, very simple things, outline, um, aerosol has aerosol chemical compositions and also the different sizes of particles and um, the optical properties, how the small particles affect for uh, absorption of light and the scattering of light uh, that comes up with aerosol physical and optical properties. Um, mainly aerosol data these days, uh, the surface level aerosol and atmospheric column, whole entire atmosphere, yeah. the aerosol is very important things. Uh, very, very important. Uh, since these hey. days, the remote uh, sensing instruments from the uh, ground based and also sat satellite based uh, measurement are very popular these days. Um, and uh, mainly today, I'm going to show some data which is measured from the sun photometer, uh, which is ground-based and also some pictures uh, based on satellite images. Therefore, I'm comparing with the both types of data from surface level and uh, from the uh, satellite. Um, surface level and atmospheric column, um, mainly they are compared and this is my one of the PhD project, how surface level represents for the atmospheric column as well. Um, in the is, is small size particles, uh, which is size distributions, uh, very interestingly, um, there is a little gap, means like a, one specific types of particles are more concentrated than the others, such as if we have from 0 0.01 to uh, one micron particles are pretty high numbers, and then one to two, maybe smaller, um, slightly trough, and then again, model means like a different bump we can see in the different size of particles. And therefore logarithmic scale is perfect scaling, uh, perfect way of measurements, expression of measurements of the aerosol size of the particles. Um, mainly why aerosol scientists and also health scientists that means like um, health workers, they prefer for the size of aerosols, mainly in the sense of health, which is very popular that uh, 2.5 micron particles of the diameter is very sensitive for our uh, respiration, which easily goes into our, you know, through the respiratory system. Uh, but in the climate sense, uh, the particles, two sizes of particles are very important uh, because of, because we can easily detect um, of the source, such as in this case, it says if you have aerosol particles of the diameter is smaller than one micron, they are mainly originated from combustion generated particles, such as and also automobiles, power generation, and wood burning. And similarly, if you have a bigger than one micron diameter of the particles, uh, wind blown dust. Uh, pollens, plant fragments, sea salt, 
and so on. It means if we could get the different sizes of particles, then easily we can identify, we can suggest, we can predict what is the aerosol source for that one in the atmosphere. That's why detecting aerosol size of particles is also very important for finding out the aerosol sources. Therefore, this is all the size distribution pattern. And mainly um, in this example, in this presentation also, I am focusing on the size distribution as well. Um, this is one of the example how uh, this is on the, how the particles, this is on, in the case of marine size of particles. This is just an example I have brought here. If you pick another type of particles like continental in the rural area or dust type of particles or other type of or urban, or you know, the aerosol produced from urban or any other sources, uh, we can see this bump. In this case, this is logarithmic size distribution particles. Uh, here is a little bump and there is also another bump here. This is the volume size distribution in the logarithmic um, uh, logarithmic scale of the diameter. And if this is the surface one. We can see here one and two, three, mainly aerosols are found. These are very popular uh, mathematical expression to express the size of you know, distribution of the particles, mainly two bumps we can see. And also there should be, we can get some other smaller type of bump as well, trimodal as well. But the bimodal size distribution is perfect to uh, represent um, uh, for the aerosol size distribution. This is just in one experimental data and uh, I have plotted based on that data. I, oh yeah, I have given here reference as well. This guy has taken the um, experimentally measured the data and based on his data, I have plotted by applying logarithmic size distribution of the particles. Therefore, mainly the particles we can see in this size range, slightly one micron, 0 0.8, 0 0.56, uh, fine particles. This is a um, bump here, and then we can get here. And also we have a look, this is up to the 30 micrometer diameter. The reason in all, you know, all the measurement, mainly they focus for mainly 30 micron, micrometer diameter is very active for the optical properties. Um, we have looked only 0.1 or 0.2 percent is contributed from the bigger size particles uh, in the due to the scattering uh, case. You know, uh, bigger than particle, bigger than that, we can consider for the geometrical reflection case. Uh, this is also another example. This is also which I loved always to present this um, one data. This is a, although this was measured very long time ago. Very interestingly. This is experimentally measured data. And he found that this is ammonium particles, ammonium component of the aerosols. And also, um, oh, it doesn't show here. Mm. Mm. This is ammonium size distribution. And if you look at here, this is, uh, it doesn't show clearly. Um, mm. Uh, just if you look at here, this is a high peak in this size range, and uh, in this is another peak in this around this size range. The idea is this guy mainly looked at the possible sources of ammonium, ammonium ammonium components here. This is the one peak and the other peak here. And he mainly in his paper um, of the measure on California in 19th. Um, 89 or something around, um, he found that the peak of the components of ammonia in this range and this range are absolutely um, um, opposite um, resources. Means the, the aerosol sources coming, which brings this size of particles of the same component ammonium and this size of particles are there from the different sources. And similarly, this is the nitrate the nitrate goes here and here. And this type of nitrate 
which of this size of nitrate and this size of nitrate are coming from the different sources. The main idea of this paper is the concentration of different size of um, different different size of the components are found from the different sources. That's the main finding of this paper, and which is very interesting to show that even that's the same components, but of the different sizes, they are not originated from the same source. They are originated from the different source. That, that's the main part. Theo Chinese Tesco. Uh, main main part theo um, ki uh, you know, different size or hone they are coming from the different sources for example if this is coming from one type this should be coming from other type that's why aerosol sources and how they are coming it is a very very important to figure out overall aerosol climatology at a point uh, mainly uh, i'm showing some data uh, given um, uh, this uh, one of the phd student in central department is working on it. Um, and I have uh, his analysis, I have brought his data. And he, at this point, he's mainly working on uh, the Pokhara site. He has, he has been using the aerosol data at this point. And this is, a, you know, in the Nepal, this side is uh, in the Gangetic Plain here. This is um, uh, this side, all deep, um, this side, this marked, all this region is a very, very polluted area of the India and also part of some Pakistan. And the main idea is uh, in this range, different types of aerosol components are found. Many millions of dollars are focusing on this region to figure out. A EC mode, um, because this side is the Himalayan range, EC mode is focusing on it and also international climate scientists are also focusing on this region. That's why at this time, NASA and NOAA and also many other big, big research projects are looking um, and working on this area and finding out aerosols and pollution so, uh, pollutions, uh, concentration over this area. Um, and uh, Nepal is also part of this, mainly the Thara area. And uh, this is also very important uh, to, to know how the pollutions are transported over the Nepal. And there are many, many publications and also many, many studies has done uh, of the comparison of aerosol optical properties in this region and this region as well. Uh, this, is, this is one of the data found for the different months. This data is taken aerosol optical depth. I have shown, I have not shown mathematically, the idea is how much light is attenuated means if we consider um, if we consider at a point uh, at a point here you know at this point this is the top of the atmosphere and if this is the bottom of the atmosphere and from this whole atmosphere how much light is attenuated and um, uh, how they do the sun photometer they measure at the very top at this level and also at the bottom and based on the differences of the intensity, solar radiation intensity, they figure out how much light is attenuated. There are many other sources, gases, water vapor, and different things. They have a different um, techniques of based on the spectral concept, based on the wavelength, because 940 nanometer range is very popular uh, to figure out for the water uh, absorption. And similarly for the gases and so on. Based on the spectral analysis, they can easily figure out what's the aerosol impact for overall um, light attenuation. And this is the um, light attenuation by the aerosols. And this is the wavelength range. This, is, this starts from 340 nanometers. Uh, this is 380, uh, four, uh, 440, uh, 500, 675, 870. And uh, this is 120 nanometers. A uh, different wavelengths are showing here. And uh, this, the spectral variation of attenuation of light, that means light intensity um, attenuated, uh, attenuated by the aerosol particles is very important to figure out, uh, to figure out the what type of aerosol sizes, aerosol particles are over on the atmosphere, which can be determined based on the, uh, based on the slope of the curve here. And uh, in the in Pokhara, 
he has shown that um, this is all the pattern here. In the April, April, it had the maximum impact. And uh, we can decide based on the seasons uh, from December to February, December to February, our winter season, March to May can be considered as pre-monsoon. That means uh, the time, uh, you know, the monsoon before monsoon is coming. And the monsoon is mainly for, from June to September and October and November after uh, the post monsoon. And based on that, it is determined very interestingly. Uh, this is the blue line is July. This is in the summer. It is almost there is no um, uh, AOD. It means there is AOD, significant AOD, but there is no slope. If you look at here, or like this, the slope is increasing when you go up to the months, which you can see clearly. But this is for July, and this is for August, and this is for September, June, um, July, August, and September. There is very less aerosol loading here, and these months maybe maybe possibly uh, we, he suggested that based on the rainfall, this is a monsoon in Pokhara, most of the rain washes the atmospheric aerosols. This might be a possibility. Um, and also I will show you some trajectory pictures as well that will give some clear, some idea which we can see. Therefore, in this case, um, the spectral AOD or spectral um, means like, um, Mm, aerosol optical depth based on the wavelength is very important to figure out uh, for the aerosol size. Um, and also the location is also important. Nepal itself is very important for the aerosol study because of this very polluted region of the India, which is known as Indo-Gangetic plain. Um, um, Angstrom, uh, he gave a very popular formula for aerosol optical depth by using the wavelength. And these two constant parameter is beta and alpha. This, uh, these are the Angstrom parameters and uh, this is the characteristic of, uh, this gives the clear picture of aerosols. And the beta, many observations and experiment, it is um, defined that based on the values of the beta, we can figure out how the aerosol loading is. And also based on the alpha, if bigger alpha, um, that determines for the la smaller number of particles and smaller or close to zero determines for the large number of particles. And large number of particles is considered which has the diameter bigger than one micrometer. And based on this using formula, we can use uh, based on the two different wavelength, if you consider this, we can determine the um, alpha. This is a very traditional method, mathematical techniques to find out alpha but it gives much error. Therefore, in this study, we have used all wavelength, uh, all wavelength uh, by using second order polynomial fit, which is, it is given here, it is considered the second order polynomial fit, the um, aerosol optical depth, tau is determined on the wavelength in the logarithmic scale in the second order polynomial. And uh, by using this technique, uh, this is the first order uh, linear fit. Um, if we look at this formula and applying the logarithmic value in both sides, just gives the uh, simple formula here. And uh, by using the second order polynomial and uh, by using this alpha prime, which is the derivative of uh, Angstrom uh, exponent alpha, this component with the wavelength in the logarithmic scale gives this value and finally minus two alpha two. Based on this alpha prime, usually most of the research articles we can find out only in the alpha. If higher value of alpha is smaller particles, if smaller particles, smaller value of alpha, that means large coarse type or large bigger size of particles. But very interestingly, in this study as well, we've noticed that alpha is not significantly changing uh, from uh, from December to uh, December. That means like we have seen only the alpha is from one to 1.25. That means it doesn't give a perfect, perfect clear picture. Although it indicates 
the smaller size of particles and uh, to to figure out clearly we determine by using second order polynomial and uh, using the curvature concept alpha prime and we found he found mainly we found the perfect result here um this is one of the picture uh, if you look at that um in this diagram uh, if you look at here this is winter season which is three months here based on um, um, hydrology department, the monsoon pe uh, winter period, um, although we give it winter season, uh, mainly most of the countries, many, many, uh, you know, it depends on the winter season, pre monsoon season, although these are the periods, but since the sense of Nepal and uh, the India, we can consider this as a monsoon season, post monsoon, and pre monsoon and winter. For winter, we, we choose the three months. December to January and February. If you look at here, uh, these are the spectral uh, aerosol optical depth here, uh, different wavelength from uh, 0 0.3, um, 3.4, uh, 3.8, uh, 0.4 and so on. Uh, if you look at here, this solid line is based on linear fit, uh, but the dotted line is using second order polynomial just by looking this data with the experimental data, we can clearly see that second order polynomial is perfectly matching with the data. That means um, it is perfectly sure that a uh, second order polynomial is uh, very reliable uh, technique to figure out, to use, um, uh, to explain the aerosol characteristics in this situation. Uh, but however, if you look at your solid line, it's slightly deviating from the different points. This is winter for, and uh, this is for pre-monsoon. Uh, this is for pre-monsoon season. Um, this is for pre-monsoon. If you look at here in the pre-monsoon, which you can see clearly uh, March, April, and uh, May, which determines that uh, based on this alpha, this is alpha, as we said, alpha equals 1.18, although it indicates for bigger than one, which is of smaller size particles. Uh, if it is very smaller than one, then we can, we can say this is coarse more large number of particles. And uh, here, alpha two, which gives negative values. But if we go back to the formula here, um, back to the Therefore, we are mainly uh, we are mainly uh, looking for positive value of the alpha prime. Um, therefore, alpha two negative negative, but it gives the positive, and so on for different month, different seasons, uh, winter season, pre monsoon, monsoon, and post monsoon, and uh, uh, checking with the linear fit in the logarithmic scale, we have seen different scenarios here, and alpha values are given here. Uh, for monsoon time, June to September, if you look at here, alpha two is minus 0.17, but in the case of winter, it is 0.49. Here is 0.33, here is 0.58. And it determines that bigger the size of, bigger the value of alpha two, we can indicate for the larger number of, uh, smaller uh, size of the particles, which is called fine particles. But, um, just by you looking the alpha angstrom exponent, if you look at here, alpha is not changing so um, so highly. Therefore, it is a very hard to determine uh, to figure out the size of the particles. But the curvature of the spectral lines is pretty perfect to determine uh, for the aerosol size of the particles. We can also see from here, if you look at here, alpha prime, this size, this is for January to December, um, January, February. If you look at here, large alpha prime uh, giving uh, for the uh, giving for the uh, smaller size of particles, then it is mixed type of particles in uh, February, March, April, May, which is very usual in the time 
when the temperature increases in this month, what happens when temperature increases, there is a oil vertical mix of aerosols from surface level aerosol easily mixed to the top of the, you know, towards the up in the atmosphere. In the winter time, most of the surface of aerosols, they, because of the temperature inversion, uh, most of the aerosols stay um, down to the um, surface, you know, the close to the surface. That's why uh, we have seen in Kathmandu as well, in the winter time, they are not, so most of the uh, health officials are not suggesting uh, for the morning walk in the, in the winter time because most of the aerosols are staying close to the surface. But in the time when temperature increases, there is a oil mix of the aerosols in the vertical column. And, uh, and also this graph indicates for, this is a smaller size of particles, but if we go pre-monsoon time from March, April, May, uh, this is a medium size of value alpha prime. And uh, on the down here, July and uh, August, uh, this is a very peak monsoon time, very close to zero or even negative that represents for large number of particles, uh, which you can see the particle size increases as well. It is, and similarly, the beta value, um, angstrom parameters, very interestingly in this data, we found that the, the aerosol, um, aerosol, how much light is attenuated is this prime increases and up to April is maximum then decreases. July, June, July, August, September, it is a pretty small. It is a very reasonable uh, because of the very uh, heavy rainfall which flosses the polluted particles from the atmosphere, that's the one region. And um, keep on going increasing elevated aerosol loading and um, the slight decreases here. The reason it is exactly matching with the beta value. This is a mathematically found beta which perfectly correlates with the um, aerosol, um, aerosol optical depth. It is a very interesting result here. And also this determines uh, for by using the two different wavelengths and finding out alpha in different region and we found the perfect matching result with the alpha prime as well. It shows that um, for, um, uh, if you look at here, uh, this is the very short wavelength, this is the longer wavelength. Uh, in the short wavelength, if you look at here, is smaller values here. This is a very sensitive for the longer wavelength for the smaller particles. There are many research has been done with showing that for the fine particles, the large number of large wavelength range is pretty, um, uh, pretty sensitive, which we can see clearly here. Uh, the angstrom exponent with the pair of wavelength of the larger 0 0.6752, 0 0.870, it looks like pretty high. But however, in the smaller wavelength range, this is 0 0.34 to 0 0.38 smaller, and uh, which also perfectly matches with our uh, other result as well. Uh, similarly, this is from Aeronet site. Um, it supports for our uh, previous results um, of the size distribution. It shows that in the winter season, if you look at just like in the size distribution, volume size distribution, in the winter, uh, slightly high, uh, smaller size particles seems like pretty peak than the black one. This is just showing one side is standard deviation just to show the nice picture uh, because of the smaller range. Uh, if we show all change the logarithmic scale, therefore it changed the value. It uh, looks like um, not that, that much nice graph. Uh, to get the nice graph we have just used uh, to show the magnitude of his standard deviation here. Uh, winter size uh, in this smaller particles are peak. Uh, Pre-monsoon, the red one, it has also significantly um, peak bump here and also significantly bump here, which is exactly supported by our concept of medium sized particles represents for fine and um, uh, large type of particles, uh, which is two different techniques has supported the same results. Um, this is uh, all the sizes of particles and uh, I have picked, I have taken here uh, the trajectory over Pokhara, uh, transboundary Modi satellite image. Um, uh, very um, interesting. I'm, I'm going to 
have one seminar in NASA for uh, for working out with these techniques uh, because of recently a small project has been accepted for for our group. Um, in this time, I am mainly showing the picture only rather than how we calculate trajectory um, by using the different techniques. Uh, but in this time, I'm just showing the uh, graphical analysis only. Um, to represent for uh, if you look at this here, three or uh, four different pictures, just I'm uh, writing here all the, for my information. Um, we can get, this is the Nepal and uh, it shows the data for February. Um, overall, the, uh, all the entire uh, study period, the February 19th has the highest um, aerosol optical depth. It seems that this data tells us the aerosol loading is pretty much high uh, at that time. Uh, that's why uh, to represent for the winter season as well, um, I'm picking just typical like a case study. I have chosen February 19 of 2017 um, of the aerosol optical depth value, which gives us higher aerosol loading, means more polluted air is transported over the Pokhara. Um, that day we have chosen and very the trajectory model gives here this is Pokhara here and um, we have chosen three different trajectory uh, we can see clearly um, seven days back trajectory here uh, it starts the two to 500 and 1000 meter over the Pokhara they mainly started from from the surface level that means this is in the corner. If you look at here, India, this is all Indo-Gangetic plain. This is a very polluted area. And both of the trajectories originated from this level, almost surface level, and entering to Pokhara from here. This is almost, this is the, uh, I have mentioned here from Lumbini side, it enters. This trajectory is entering through the Lumbini and traveling to the Pokhara, arriving to the Pokhara. But over the, 1500 meter from the surface in the Pokhara is traveling, another trajectory is traveling from Ethiopia. Like um, this is from Eastern Africa and traveling Middle East, Saudi Arabia and over Pakistan and entering to the Nepal from the Western side. And if you look at here, um, it has is starting from the pretty high, at more high, very high level, uh, around 4,000 meters or four kilometers above this Africa and traveling with a different height and then finally reaching to Pokhara at 1500 meters. And in this way, we can, uh, and at the same time, this is from the, in the corner. Uh, if you look at here, this is in the corner here. This is haze. Uh, we can see clearly the picture here on the side. And Nepal uh, on the uh, Indo side, we can see clearly haze, mainly that is because of the pollutions, mainly um, urban type of pollutions, mainly anthropogenic pollution here. Uh, we can see clearly the uh, clear picture here, uh, the, the pollution is transported over here. And this is a very close surface area pollution. And also the red dots are showing the fire burning. That may be different things, maybe uh, different different sources. The idea is maybe forest fire or other type of any fire burning. And uh, these pictures and these pictures uh, along with this one can help us to figure out what are the overall aerosol sources, uh, polluted pollutions over Pokhara here. We can see this may be the possibility of biomass burning, mainly in the northwest of India or simply southwest of Nepal. Mainly we can see many of fire burn places. And even in Pokhara's, close to the Pokhara side also, we can see some uh, fire burn. This is from the Modi's satellite images. And this is NOAA high split trajectory model. And um, um, this project, this study is mainly uh, explaining based on visual analysis of this trajectory model and uh, satellite images of this. Uh, this is for, uh, uh, this is, we are representing as a case study for the winter season, uh, for the February, uh, which you can see for the winter season, mainly even 
uh, all the time in Nepal also in the winter time, we see rain or something like that. Mainly the air mass is from the Western side that comes in the winter time. The air mass is mainly travels from this side, which is the Western side. If we go to the next one, this is for June. Uh, June 13, which are the highest aerosol optical depth, mainly aerosol loading over the atmosphere, over the pokhara. And uh, this side is, we are all studying this trajectory is coming to pokhara at 6.45 a.m. And uh, if you look at here in June 13, we can see clearly uh, the air mass is uh, traveling from, uh, from Rajasthan area. Um, crossing over the Delhi um, seems um, like um, uh, 1500 meters uh, air mass is traveling mainly originating from over the Nepal and crossing slightly to the uh, slightly to the Indo plain and traveling to the east side and coming back to Pokhara again. And um, in 500 and 1000 meters, that's a mainly uh, seven days back trajectory is mainly from this region, Rajasthan, which is also most polluted area and also desert area and traveling over the polluted area, Delhi, and uh, going through this polluted Indo area. And again, finally traveling back to uh, Pokhara. And uh, in this, and uh, similarly, if you look at here, this yellow sign, which indicates for 400, this is the dark side, and this is around 500. If we have this value more than 380, must, mostly there are dust here. Dust we can observe here. We can, see, we can see the dust. Dust source can also be indicated in the uh, summer time, means in the beginning of summer as well. Um, the next one, this is for oh, June 6. Um, Oh, this is April, I'm sorry. This is not the June 13th. This is my mistake. Uh, this was April, um, April time. Um, in the April, which is pre-monsoon seasons. Uh, this is for the June summer season. If you look at here, uh, the air mass is uh, going through, mainly this is um, Indian Ocean, and uh, this is Bay of Bengal. It is the air mass is traveling eastern, southeast side of Nepal, and uh, crossing through the Bangladesh and uh, entering to Nepal from the southeast, traveling some of the Indo plain here, and traveling to Nepal from the eastern side. The main idea, what I wanted to show you here, um, just picking up one tip, uh, few typical days of the different seasons, we can easily indicate um, the air mass is traveling to Nepal, uh, from different direction uh, based on seasons here. In the monsoon season, mainly the air mass travels this side and entering to the uh, Nepal from the eastern part. The monsoon is entering to the eastern side. Uh, mainly we can say southeastern side. Now this is all Bay of Bengal. Therefore, in the monsoon season, it travels mainly the oceanic side that brings up most of the marine aerosols or simply we can say sea salt, and also it crossing over the continental, therefore it can also carry some of the continental along with, in Nepal, it has own eastern side pollution as well, regional pollution as well. Um, we can see very few of the fire, the fire spots here, which maybe, maybe there should be some other spot, but because of the cloud, the satellite image, that's one of the defect. Um, mainly the cloud will block some of the internal phenomena. However, um, because of the rainfall, definitely there will be not much uh, fiery spots as we have, uh, as we have in the pre-monsoon, in the very dry seasons, we can see clearly most of the biomass burning here. Um, even in Nepal, we can see most of the area is with the suffering from the biomass burning here in the April. Um, this is for the monsoon. And if we go to the uh, post monsoon, it is on the um, August side. Yeah, this is one of the August similar range. Mainly it is suffered from Eastern uh, side 
and also might be at the very high level. It is also coming from Arabian Sea as well. Um, and this is for the post monsoon. Post monsoon season is also suffered from the most of the biomass burning and also haze we can see clearly. Um, rather than in, uh, rather than in um, monsoon and um, pre-monsoon time, if you look at that pre-monsoon time, we can see that much haze. But if you look at here in the winter time, we can see clearly. Uh, and the same time uh, in the post-monsoon, we can also detect visually, we can detect the uh, pollution as well. Uh, this is all some of the um, indication and also types of particles and also um, uh, what type of particles uh, which, which this result shows. Uh, the overall pollution in Pokhara is um, mainly based on the mixed type of aerosols. Um, and um, also we, we noticed that smaller size of particles are mainly um, um, uh, dominated in the time of winter and the time of uh, post monsoon and in pre monsoon mainly for both type of particles and in monsoon mainly for coarse type of particles, uh, which is uh, nicely supported by trajectory model as well as uh, from the satellite images. Um, this is um, some of the um, some idea uh, just brought up for this person uh, with you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Binil sir. Binil sir. Binil sir. Binil sir. Binil sir. Okay. Binil sir. Uh, okay. Binil sir. Thank you, Dr. Rudra Arial. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rudra Arial, for this uh, very uh, nice insight and in very simple way so that even we can understand we are not uh, in your field uh, with uh, wonderful graphics and i request uh, the participant to raise hand so that we can make it systematic and raise hand in um, in in the system so raise <laughs> just click raise hand there uh, I, I can see already. Suresh, Suresh, can they say that you have any Ernagar on Zaki? Yeah, system raise hand options, honey. Sir, I have a graph that has been given to us by the dust particles. What is the marine? What is the submarine? Sir, the submarine? What is the the submarine? What is the submarine? What is the You tiny man, Namji. Namji, go. Uh, camera off for you. Phone. Hello, Noom. Are you listening? Okay, I mean, Aba, um, Uta, Ula, Parhide, Garda, Kiri. Um, Vivek Ji, please go ahead. Vivek Acharya. Hello? Hello? Sir, yeah, what you sir? Hello, sir. Okay, I'm very confused. Okay, Noom, are you back? Ah, back, sir. Why are you sir? Okay, I'm sorry. 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 On a Molotis yes, Macassar, your Junio Ambro, Utsan Sario, D Junior Diameter, Juno, Sonny Sario, Scoto, your Amenapson, Mirror Gordon, sir. Ajura. 
यो खास कसरी मेरो गर्न सकिन्छ र सर यसको इन्स्ट्रुमेन्टहरुको बारेमा यसो अब यो कमर्सियली एभाइलेबल छन् यो कुन साइजको पार्टिकलहरु अब फिल्टरहरुले त धेरै सजिलो नै मेजर गर्न सकिहालिन्छ त्यसको त्यही फिल्टर पोर्स को आधारमा हैन हजुर अनि अब अरु अरु पनि मेनली त अब यो फिल्टरले नै हो युज गर्ने त पार्टिकलहरु कुन पार्टिकल कमर्सियली एभाइलेबल अब अब यसको कस्टम छ भने एयर एयरलाई जब पम्प गर्ने बित्तिकै त्यो एयर पार्टिकल जब हामीले पठाउँछौ उसमा पठाउँदा खेरि फिल्टरले कुन साइजको पार्टिकल अलाउड गर्ने भन्ने कुराहरु आइडेन्टिफाई गर्छ अनि सर यसको प्राइस कति दिन पर्छ होला सर हाम्रो त अब के छ दाङ क्याम्पस छ त अब यो अलि बिकटकै क्याम्पस परे सर हैन हजुर अब म त पार्ट टाइममा टिचर हो सर तर रिसर्च गराउँछु भन्दाखेरि पनि समस्या नै यसलाई चाहिँ अब प्राइस कति दिन पर्न जान्छ सर यदि किनेर गरौ भन्न खोज्ने हो रिसर्च गरौ हो यहाँ अब यो 30 40 हजार सम्मकोमा सजिलै राम्रो इक्विपमेन्टहरु आउँछन् हैन अब यो हेल्थ साइन्स सँग रिलेटेड इक्विपमेन्टहरु पनि हुन्छन् हामीले यो इन्टरनल मेजर गर्ने एक्सटर्नल पनि मेजर गर्ने हैन हजुर अब यसको विभिन्न क्वालिटीमा डिपेंड गर्छ अब 30 हजार देखि मास्तिर नेपाली रुपीज भनौ न हजुर हजुर को इन्स्ट्रुमेन्टहरुले ओभरअल छ तर पनि अब अब 5 6 लाख सम्मको इन्स्ट्रुमेन्टहरुले राम्रो छ मेजरमेन्ट त भइहाल्छ हैन हजुर अब एउटा नेफेलोमिटर भन्ने हुन्छ सेन्सिटाइन नेफेलोमिटर कन्सन्ट्रेसन अफ पार्टिकलहरु त्यो रिसेन्टली हामीले सस्तो भनेर बाय गर्दा खेरि 3500 डलर्स भनेको त्यही 3.5 लाख 4 लाख जति पनि पर्छ तर देयर आर बंच अफ इन्स्ट्रुमेन्ट्स इन द मार्केट चाहिँ 30 40 हजार देखि नै किन्न पाइन्छ ए थ्यांक यु सर ओके ओके सुरेश तिमीले अघि देखि हात उठाको नाले प्लीज गो हेड र त हजुरको त ग्राफ थियो नि सर त्यो जस्तै डिफरेंट कम्पोनेंट्सहरु एरोसोल मा देखा पर्छ जस्तै सल्फेटहरुको अनि हाइड्रोजन सोडियम छ नि यसमा हजुरको कार्बन बेस एरोसोल किन देखेन किन मेजरमेन्ट भएन कार्बन बेस यो चाहिँ नि यो ओसन को साइडहरुमा कोस्टल एरियामा गरेको हो त उले हैन अब त्यो चाहिँ नि मैले पेपरमा हेर्दा खेरि अब उनीहरुले मेजर गर्दा नि यी कम्पोनेन्टहरु पाइएको भनेर एक्सप्लेन गरेका छन् त्यो उनीहरुको रिसर्च पेपरमा हैन मेनली एरोसोल सोर्सेजहरु यो कम्पोनेन्टको एरोसोलहरु बडी डोमिनेटिङ भएर उनीहरुले यो कम्पोनेन्टहरुलाई उले शो गरेको यो डायग्राममा सर नेक्स्ट क्वेशन चाहिँ चाहिँ हजुरको जुन ट्राजेक्टरी मेथड थियो नि सर ट्राजेक्टरी मेथडमा नै पुरे त्यो जस्तै पोखराको चाहिँ पर्टिकुलर एरियाको हामीले हामीले एरोसोलको मेजर हामीले स्टडी गरियो ट्राजेक्टरी मेथडबाट यसको मिनिङ के ट्राजेक्टरी मोस्ट अफ द ट्राजेक्टरी एराइज फ्रम द नेबरिङ कन्ट्री एन्ड अल्सो फ्रम अफ्रिका हैन यसको मिनिङ के भन्दा भने नेपाल भन्दा नेबरिङ कन्ट्रीहरु पोरुटेड छ भन्नेको मिनिङ हो त्यसको मिनिङ कस्तो लाग्छ हजुर त्यसले त्यसले के इन्डिकेट गर्छ भने अब विभिन्न अब एटमोस्फेरिक यो जुन एरोनेट सन फोटोमिटरले ओभरअल फ्रम द सर्फेस देखि टप अफ द एटमोस्फियर सम्मको पोलुसन मेजर गर्छ त्यसरी मेजर गर्दा अब विभिन्न ठाउँहरुमा विभिन्न ठाउँ हाइटबाट पोलुसनहरु आएको हुन सक्छ हैन अनि अब यो ट्राजेक्टरी मेडल मेथडको मेन मेन इन्ट्रेस्ट नै के हो भने यसको दुईटा ट्राजेक्टरी हुन्छ यो चाहिँ नि ब्याक ट्राजेक्टरी भयो ब्याक ट्राजेक्टरी भनेको कुन ठाउँमा सोर्स एउटा पोइन्ट जस्तै फर एक्जाम्पल काठमाडौँ चुज गरियो भने काठमाडौँमा कहाँ कहाँबाट पोलुसन आएको हुन्छ भनेर ब्याक ट्राजेक्टरी मोडल युज गरिन्छ कहिले काहीँ कस्तो हुन्छ भने काठमाडौँमा भोल्कानिक एरप्सन भयो भने अब त्यो पोलुसन कहाँ कहाँ गयो भनेर त्यहाँबाट गएको सोर्स लियो भने फेरि फरवर्ड ट्राजेक्टरी भनिन्छ दुईटा ट्राजेक्टरी मोडल हुन्छ एउटा चाहिँ नि आफूतिर आएको अर्को आफूबाट बाहिर गएको भनौँ न होइन अनि र यो नेबरिङ कन्ट्रीदेखि लिएर लोकल लोकल भनेको रिजन रिजनल एरियाहरुबाट पनि पोलुसन आउने हुँदाखेरि यो ब्याक ट्राजेक्टरले अब यसको हन्ड्रेड पर्सेन्ट त्यो नै आएर ठ्याक्कै त्यही बाटोमै आउँछ भनेको त भन्ने तर यसलाई इट इन्डिकेट्स भेरी पर्फेक्टली जस्ट प्रेडिक्सन मात्रै हो सर यो हजुर यो प्रेडिक्सन हो यो किनभने त्यसको मेट्रोलोजिकल प्यारामिटरको उसमा यो बनाइएको हुन्छ त्यसकारण मेट्रोलोजिकल प्यारामिटर अनुसार नै यो सबै एयर पार्सलहरू मुभ गर्ने कुरा भयो 
फिर तेज में फिर किन आज़ुले इंटरनल ट्रेजेटर किन देखना जैसे नेपाल को डिफरेंट पार्ट्स रंदा आनो सक्सेस वाला एरोसल को कंपनी जो जो कस्टम चाह बनी इसलिए अब तीन टा चार वड़ा अब यह खाली मेले यूज आमले यूज कर को तीन टा मात्रे चाह अब विभिन्न इंसिमल फ्रीक्वेंसी और विभिन्न ठाउं तीन दिन में कौन ठाउं बढ़ाए हुए सेवेन डेज में काम बढ़ाए हुए वन्नी कुरा और चेक करने पड़े हुए वन्नी तो अब जस्ते कुनी बिला अब तो एक ठाम में मिले वड़ा स्लाइड के देखा है वन्नी वड़ा अफ्रीका पे देखे आए वन्नी वड़ा नेपाल वड़ा मतलब आगो था नेपाल वड़ा आगो वन्नी को तो एयर जिन स्पीड अतो स्पीड ऑफ मोशन ले कर दा हरी तो डिस्टेंस मात्रे उबा को न तो तो टाइमिंग फिर ये उड़े ही होते हो जाने हाँ सर धन्यवाद सर अजय थैंक यू थैंक यू अमरो मैं थोपरे जाना ले आया तो उठाने बाजा मो क्वेश्चंस वन्ने सॉर मैडम मेरे लाइक ब्रीफ रा रिपीट ना वन्ने क्वेश्चंस वन्ना रिक्वेस्ट कर यूजी खास रिसर्च बंदा ने रिसर्च को आउटपुट संग संबंधित जस्ता लाख सा है ना अजरा ठीक है सर यो पहले अब नैनो मटेरियल है उनको प्रयोग होने होना थाली वो नैनो मेडिसिन है उनको अन्य सर अजरा अन्य ये तो नया न्यूली के ही नैनो पार्टिकल और जो आमले नैनो मटेरियल प्रयोग हो रहा है सु तीन � नैनो पार्टिकल और बैठी कुछ हवाला सर अब तो चाहिए ना आम आमले आइले ऐरे कुछ चाहिए ना त्यो त्यो सेक्शन में है ना नैनो पार्टिकल रहा है जिसको नैनो पार्टिकल आई एडिशन में नहीं आज रहा तो अब मेन कुछ अब आमले जस्ते अब रिसेंटली 2000 देखी अब लाइडर और कोई यूज़ और बनी को वेरी पॉपुलर अन्य को ताला बड़ा पार्टिकल सूट करने अन्य विभिन्न लेयर और मा पार्टिकल रिफ्लेक्शन तो अब नैनो पार्टिकल जो जनता पहले लेवन बाज आते दिस विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स अब तर हम इले क्लोजली मैच कर रहे हैं रेगुलर साइन में मेरे बंदे नैनो स्केल मॉलिक्यूलर डायनेमिक्स में हो है ना अ Thank you, thank you, Raju sir, Rudra sir. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Anita Mistra. Anita, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, please. Sir, oh, my question is, I have a question for you. Yeah, I have a question for you. 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 एटमॉस्फेयर में पढ़ता है खेरी सर मॉली बुजुर्ग में लाये थे सर साइज का मात्रा सर ऑलेस्टरी गार्ड होने से कि इसको और को प्रॉपर्टी जरूर नहीं जस्ते आवर रेडिएशन रेडिएटिव एरोसल और को बारे में नहीं स्टडी गार्ड नहीं होने से कि साइज का मात्रा मेली आले अब मेरे प्रीवियस रिसर्च अब इसको केमिकल एरोसल कंपोनेंट और रा इसको स्कैटरिंग एब्जोर्शन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कस्टम उनसे बने रामले हैरान सों बिजनेस के आइले खाली इसलिए ओवरऑल एरोसल को कंपोनेंट अन्य इसको डिफरेंट साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और अन्य इसलिए लाइट इंटरएक्शन कस्टडी कर सब निभारे मत रहे रहा सों तो रारू जन इसको औरू खा� what type of components are chemically cost of chemical components so and in a school aerosol optical properties cost of honey how it is related to globally how it has impacted like a sense of trajectory model and or or other ma global transportation for city on seven as I read thank you sir ओके नेक्स्ट गोपी चंद्र काफ़ले सर लो थैंक यू राजू सर लो रुद्र सर एकदम लो देरी रामरो वर्न वो प्रेजेंटेशन तो स्लाइड एकदम बताई सर और मेरे तो एक क्यों देखिए ना तो गोपी सर का ओरा आह अली उजालो भाई 
ग्लोबल दुटा दुटा जस्टिस को बारे में अलग ग्लोबली साइंटिफिक क्षेत्र में अभी पब्लिक में उठे एवटा न्यूक्लियर एक्टिविटीज होने रेडिएसन को क्योंकि एवं कंट्री तो अर्क कंट्री सफर होने रो क्लाइमेट को ओवरअल सफर होने कंसेप अब इसको एवटे मत अल्टिमेटम के सडन कंपोनेंट्स अब अलग पैंडेमिक सीचुएसन ने कार्बन को उत्पादन में कम भाषा भाई कुरा स्टडी में आई रहे ओवरअल में पल्युसन लोअर करने को निति ग्लोबल कैंपेनिंग इसको आधार मैं एक चोटी एक वर्ष अगड़ी राइजिंग लेखा थे यही क्लाइमेट जस्टिस के बारे में यही पल्युसन ल्लाइमेट जस्टिस अब कहीं पाने अब इस कति समय ग्लोबल रेवल्यूशन मुवमेंट को रूप में लान सकता भारत में आर्टिकल अर्क ओ यस है सर यो हमें वन इयरसम लिंव है यो अर्क वर्ष सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट कर रिट्रेस कर दस वर्ष को डेटा को एवरेज हो ये चाहिए ए ए यहाँ से बुझे क्या सर ते भाई अर्क वर्ष कसरी खास लंग पीरियड को हो रहा वर्ष ओवरअल में हमी कस्तु मैं भाप हम स्टूडेंट ओवरअल इंडिविजुअल इयर में हेरे अभी यो एवरेज डेटा मैं खाली यहाँ एवरेज डेटा मैं प्रेजेंट कर इंट्रेस्टिंगली अब यह सेम पैटर्न में देखि ये ओके सर ते कन्फ्यूज भर डाटा में सर को अगि अनिता ने सोधा जस्ते सर को फिल्टर में रेडियो एक्टिव पार्टिकुलेटर डिटेक्ट भाष र हमें तो डिटेक्ट करा चेन हमें खाली कस्तो वही नेफेलोमीटर बाो सेम साइज को पार्टिकल को स्कैटरिंग मेजर करा चौंकि अर्क अर्क चाहिए तो फिल्टर बेस्ड में रहकर केमिकल कंपोनेंट और हमें अब बर्मुड़ा को डेटा और में बड़ी करा चौं बर्मुड़ा में ते वी हेव नेवर डिटेक्टेड एनी अदर कंपोनेंट्स अदर देन सोडियम नाइट्रेट एंड डिफ्रेंट तो मेरे Uh, 2014, 2013 में पेपर पर कंपोनेंट को बारे में यो एसिपी में निस्क में हमें डिफ्रेंट कंपोनेंट तर अरु खाले कुने कुने इंट्रेस्टिंग खाले कंपोनेंट और वी नेवर फिगर आउट ओके थैंक यू ओके टाइम छ
त्यो चाहिँ नि हामीले फाइन्ड आउट गरेका छौँ यसमा यो यसबाट बट स्टिल गोइङ अन तर यो प्रिलिमिनरी इन्भेस्टिगेसन मा त्यो देखिन्छ यो अल्फा चाहिँ कुनै पनि अब जस्तो विन्टर सिजन आ पनि त्यति धेरै चाहिँ एकदम मोस्ट फाइन मोड पार्टिकलहरु जस्तो चाहिँ त्यति नदेखिएको चाहिँ इन्ट्रेस्ट फाइन्ड आउट गर्न सकिँदैन ओभरअल सिङ्गल सिङ्गल फिट लाइनले होइन यो सबैलाई क्याच गर्दै जाँदाखेरि सबै ओभ ओभलेन्थहरूलाई इन्डिभिजुअली हाउ दे आर चेन्जिङ भनेर हेरियो भने द्याट गिभ्स द अर्थ अल्फा प्राइम ओके थ्याङ्क यू उषा उषा म्याडमको केही क्वेशन थियो जस्तो थियो प्लिज उषा जी हुनुहुन्छ ओके उषा म्याडम अहिले कता के भयो माइक काम गरेन कि विजय अधिकारी प्लिज गो एड हजुर सर नमस्कार हजुर विजय जी नमस्कार है विजय जी सर मेरो एउटा डाउट मेरो एउटा डाउट छ सर हजुर एमएससी स्टुडेन्ट सेन्टर डिपार्टमेन्ट अफ फिजिक्स हजुर सेकेन्ड मेरो एउटा डाउट के सर अहिले हाम्रो यो बैशाख मनि पहिले अत्यन्त गर्मी हुन्थ्यो नि त अहिले एकदमै कि यो गर्मीको सिजन पनि अहिले लेट हुँदै गइरहेछ अनि जाडो पनि पहिला अहिले चाडो स्टार्ट हुन्थ्यो भने अहिले अहिले पछि धकल्ली यस्तो मेरो विचार के सर यसमा यो एरोजलहरुको केही इफेक्ट हो कि अन्य केही कस्तो होला सर अब यो अब यो ग्लोबल टपिक्स नै हो यो चाहिँ नि हैन अब कस्तो छ भने विन्टरको टाइममा पनि चिसो हुने अब यो त कस्तो भने ल्यान्ड सँग मात्रै कनेक्सन नभएर यो ओसन सँगको पनि कनेक्सन हुन्छ यो सबै कुराहरु किनभने अहि भर्खर ट्राजेक्टरी मैले देखाउँदै गर्दा खेरि पनि इट इज इजिली कनेक्टेड टु द अरेबियन सी देखि लिएर इन्डियन ओसन बे अफ बङ्गालसम्मको हाम्रो रिलेसन छ नि त्यहाँ यसरी ल्यान्ड ओसनको कनेक्सनहरू हुन्छ अब एरोसोल ओभरअल ग्लोबल वार्मिङमा एरोसोल इज द मोस्ट इफेक्टिभ प्यारामिटर्स नाउ डेज होइन जुन पलु पल्युसन छ नि अब इट माइट बी अब जुन अब जुन हाम्रो यो अब इट इज अ भेग टपिक्स अब बैशाखमा कति टाइम कति सिफ्ट भयो भन्ने कुराहरू त हाम्रो ओभरअल भेग टपिक्स भयो तर ग्लोबली यसलाई अब्जर्व गर्दाखेरि अब्जर्व गर्दाखेरि पनि के देखिन्छ भने इट इज इम्प्याक्टिङ फर ओभरअल ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट थ्याङ्क यू सर ओके अरु उषा जी उषा बी को माइक अफ छ अ माइक त अफ छ ठीक छ अ आशीष भट्टराईले केही सोध्न खोज्नु भएको थियो हेलो राजु सर उषा जी अ उषा जी प्लीज गो अहेड गो अहेड रुदेश सर थ्याङ्क्स है यो खै उषा जी को फोन आएन त दु यो यस्तो छ जस्तै अब जुन यो माथिको तिनटा जिरो पोइन्ट थ्री फोर्टी देखि भनेपछि सातवटा वेबलेन्थको प्यारामिटरको सबै एकैचोटि लिएर क्याल्कुलेट गरेको यो ब्लू लाइन भयो भने यो यो माथिल्लो कालो चाहिँ नि खाली यो लङ्गर वेबलेन्थ दुईटा वेबलेन्थमा देखिएको जस्तै यसमा गयो भने इफ यू लुक एट हियर अब यदि हामीले यहाँको र हेरी यो दुईटा मात्रै ल्याउँ भने एउटा भ्यालु भयो भने यो यो थ्री फोर्टी र अर्को थ्री एटीको लियो भने अर्को अर्को डेटा देख्यो यो दुईटा खाली दुईटा मात्रै लिएर त्यसलाई भोल्ज मेथड डिरेक्ट एप्लाई गरेको कुनै लिनियर फिट र अर्को सेकेन्ड अर्डर पोलिनोम नलिइकन ए भन्नाले यो सेभेन र एट मन्थमा चाहिँ सबै सेम सेम जस्तो आउन थाल्यो है हजुर अनि 
यो चाहिँ कस्तो छ भने ट्राजेक्टरी मोडल हरु अब यसको डिस्पर्सन इक्वेसन हुन्छ ल्याग्रेन्जियन मेथड हुन्छ अब यो उनीहरुले नोआले एउटा क्याल्कुलेट ट्राजेक्टरी मोडल क्याल्कुलेट गरेको छ अनि हामीले त्यसमा इनपुट दिएपछि कुन हाइटमा कुन कुन हाइटबाट निकाल्ने भन्ने कुराहरु हुन्छ हैन अब यसमा खाली यो चाहिँ नि मेन पिक्चर भयो यो यो चाहिँ नि यसमा विभिन्न हाइटको कुराहरु यसमा देखाउँछ यो this is the अब एउटा सोर्स पोइन्ट भयो पोखरा जाको पनि लिन सकिन्छ काठमाडौँको पनि लिन सकिन्छ हामीहरुले यो पोखराको भयो भने यो 7 डेज ब्याक साइडमा जान स्टार्ट भयो भन्ने र हेर्न सकिन्छ अब यसमा यो जस्तै 14 गते अप्रिलको 14 गतेमा यहाँ हेरिएको छ भने इट स्टार्टेड बिफोर फोर एट यो आठ गते देखि सुरु भएको कुराहरू हामीले यहाँ हेरेका छौँ अनि यो विभिन्न हाइटहरूमा हुन्छ यहाँ तिनटा यति बेला तिनटा मात्रै हाइट चुज गरिएको हुन्छ त्यहाँ विभिन्न टेक्निक हुन्छ वी क्यान ब्रिङ अल अल डिफ्रेन्ट डिरेक्सन्सको पोल्युसनहरू कस्तो छ भनेर हेर्न सकिन्छ दिस इज द मेजर हजुर स्पिडहरू पनि क्याल्कुलेट गर्न सकिन्छ जवाब जाड़ो को बेला जो कंट्री अब विशेष इंडिया को कंट्री यो उड बर्निंग हो आगो हो बाल्ने चलन हुन्छ नि धेरै जसो एउटा त्यो त्यो एउटा पसिबिलिटी हुन्छ अनि त्यसपछि गाडीहरू चलाउँदा खेरि पनि जाडोमा बढी हिटिङ सिस्टमहरु एउटा भेकलहरुको एउटा कुराहरु पनि आउँछ अनि अर्को कुरो पानी रेनफल कम हुने बित्तिकै यो क्लीन अप जुन एटमोस्फियर त्यति बढी क्लीन हुँदैन त्यो त्यो पानीले नहुने बित्तिकै एटमोस्फियर लङ टाइम रहने भयो त्यहाँ फेरि हैन अनि फेरि एउटा देखि प्रब्लम सबैभन्दा लामो समय एटमोस्फियरमा एरोसोल रहनु भनेको केमिकली एक्टिभ एरोसोलहरू दे दे इन्टरेक्ट इच अदर फेरि अर्को विच इज भेरी डेन्जरस टाइप अफ एरोसोलहरू फर्मेसनहरू पनि हुन्छ फेरि त्यो एउटा सिनारियोहरू क्रिएट हुन्छ त्यस कारण त्यो विन्टर टाइमहरू अलिक बढी एटमोस्फियर जुन फ्लस आउट नहुने हुँदाखेरि वी आर सफरिङ सर यो ट्रान्स बाउन्ड्री मुभमेन्ट अफ एरोसोल पार्टिकल चाहिँ सिजन अनुसार त डिफरेन्ट हुन्छ होला हैन हजुर त्यही मैले हामीले म आइ पिक्चर देखाएको भने अब यसमा कस्तो छ भने नेपालमा विशेष गरी हामीले रेडियोमा पनि पहिला पहिला सुनिन्थ्यो पश्चिमी वायु र के वायु भनेर सुनिन्थ्यो नि धेरै जस्तो पूर्वी वायु र पश्चिमी वायु भने जस्तै विशेष गरी विन्टर टाइममा हामीले पश्चिमीहरु साइडहरुबाट आएर पानीहरु पर्यो भने जुन त्यो अरेबियन सीको साइडहरु देखि लिएर पश्चिमी वायुहरूको कारणले गर्दाखेरि त्यो भएको हामीले देखिन्छ त्यो भएर सिजन अनुसार यो ट्राजेक्टर मोडलहरू वी क्यान सी डिफरेन्सेस थ्याङ्क यु सर थ्याङ्क यु ओके अब हामी मेरो विचारमा म अलिकति रुद्र शर्मा के सोच्छ है सर राज सर अ प्लीज प्रकाश सर बोल रुद्र सर हामीले पनि अलि एबीसीमा प्रोजेक्ट गराउन खोज्छौ नि सर कम पेपर इनहरु गर्दा के हाम्रो के के समस्या छ इन्स्ट्रुमेन्टको छैन हाम्रोमा हैन सर अ अलिकति चाहिँ छ त्यो युज गर्न हाम्रो सन फोटोमिटर त छ तर सधैं युज गर्न गाह्रो भइरा छ हामीसँग छैन उ चाहिँ इन्जिनियरिङ क्याम्पससँग मात्रै छ र कहिले हामीले चाहिँ युरोनटको साथ साइडको डाटा युज गर्न खोज्छौ सर ए हजुर युरोनट त्यहाँ चाहिँ रेगुलर डाटा छैन र त्यसलाई हामीले रेगुलर टाकला हामीले चाहिँ अर्निको सरलाई कन्ट्याक्ट गर भन्छ हैन अ त्यसलाई के प्रोसेस छ सर रेगुलर डाटा पाउने त्यो अहिले डेटा मेजर गरिरा छ त्यसले त्यसले गरे छैन जस्तो लागिरा छ सर एरोनटको डाटा किन 
मेरे विचार अब फर्दर टपिक में फर्दर प्राइवेटली कम्युनिकेट कर हतार कर साढ़े नौ समय हो हमें एक्सट्रीम टाइम रि हम स्पीकर को रुद्रजी को अलग मेरे विचार में एगार सवा एगार क्रस भाई लगने बेला भो वहाँ अलग जवान एक्टिव एक 